when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky. Let's touch on Yegeta Erat. Erat, right? The, the, the supper. Yegeta Erat, that's often called the Last Supper, since this is the meaning of the season. This is the reason for the season, as they would say. Now, according to the Christian faith, the faith of Christ, according to the Aritit Hymenot, the true Orthodox faith, according to the Ethiopic Church, the Tawahedo Aritit Hymenot, the the Ritua Hymenot, the Ritit Amin, the Last Supper, what's called in the West the Last Supper, and what's known to the Ethiopic Church as Yegeta Erat, or the Adonai's Supper, the Adoni Supper, is the final meal or Passover meal that Jesus Christos, Yehoshua HaMushi, shared with his 12 apostles, the 12 disciples, which later on would be, become apostles, would be graduated by virtue of the Great Commission to be Hawaria, from Dek uh, Mezamorit to Hawariat in Jerusalem. Now, this is before his crucifixion. Yegeta Erat, the Master's meal, the Last Supper, it provides the scriptural, the biblical, the metaf. Kedusawi basis, the Meseret, the foundation for the ceremony that's often called and is known as the Eucharist. It's also called Communion and it's also known as the Lord's Supper. Now in Hawadia Paulos' the Apostle Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians is the earliest known mention of what we know as the Last Supper. It is later described in more detail in what's called the Synoptic Gospels and in the Gospel of John. Now, it is said that the Gospel of John omits the institution of the Eucharistic use of the bread and the wine. Now, according to Hawaria Paulos, when we turn our Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26, at that meal, Yeshua, Iesus, on the night he was betrayed or, quote, delivered up, he gave his disciples bread, saying that it was his body, saying that this is this is Mesaliyawiya Negagera, according to metaphorical language, it was his body, which was broken for them. And he gave them wine, saying that it was the new covenant, the Adis or Hadis Kidan, in his blood, Bedemu, and told them to do it in his memory, as a metasebia. In the Synoptic Gospels, Yeshua, Jesus, institutes a new covenant of his blood and body, or what's often called the Segawadem, the bread and the wine, or the wine and the bread at the Fasica, Seder, at the Fasica Serat, at the Fasica Erat, the Fasica Passover meal. Now, the Gospel of Johannes, Johannes Wengel, it recounts, instead of the institution of this new covenant with wine and bread, it recounts Jesus' washing of the disciples' feet. And it also and it also depicts it also depicts Jesus as speaking at length in his farewell 
discourse, his farewell address or his discourse. Now, in Kedus Johannes' Wengel, Yegitarat, the Master's Meal, Adoni's Supper, the Last Supper as it's called, it takes place on the night before Fasica, the night before Pesach, Passover, the night before the Fasica Passover lambs were slaughtered. Now, many scholars, Bible scholars and others, have looked to the Last Supper as the source of the early Christian Eucharist and Eucharistic traditions. Others, on the other hand, they see the account of the Last Supper as derived from the first century Eucharistic practice as described by Hawaria Paulos in what is known as the mid-50s. In other words, the mid-50s, some say roughly between 10 to 20 years after the crucifixion, the death, and the resurrection of Getachen Iesus Christos.